Okay. All right. Talk. How does the high performance life coaching happen? Happen. Walk us into that transition, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, 2010, I started running ultras, and ultras was really um, ultra marathon. So I was running my first race was 50k, and this was the the first steps of getting into that that mindset. Um, I started running longer distances, 50 miles, 100k, and I started running 100 mile races. And found out I was pretty good, and I turned pro, and I got sponsors. So then they started flying me around the world. Um, I started speaking on stage and started creating my own identity and reinventing myself as this really healthy person. I've been, to this date, I've been vegan for 25 years. So I really stepped into this, um, this nutrition, healthy lifestyle where I was just fully committed about learning how to challenge the mind, spirit, and body. And when, I, you're, when you're running for 100 miles, you're, it takes me around you know, 27 to 30 hours straight. You have a lot of time to think. And so I started... Th- I was starting to think about like, what do I want to do? Like, how can I help people? You know, and, and at this time I was running my own, um, I've been an entrepreneur for 12 years now, but I started running my own running company, personal training business in South Beach, working with very exclusive um, clientele, IndyCar drivers, uh, professional athletes. And then this all transformed of help, helping them with movement. But then I, I started I helping see. them with personal Issues. Okay. Okay. Let me just take a pause right there. So now I understand the transition after kind of studying your profile. So you're in this, you're working these bars and stuff, right? And you're doing this, this thing, you start running to stay in shape. The next thing you know, you, you've done a couple of these ultra marathon things and somebody taps you on the shoulder and says, Hey, we'll sponsor you. And now you're getting a check for that. And you're like, Oh shit. Okay. I might actually be able to make a living and pay the rent doing this. And then you, st- but you, but at the time you weren't thinking I'm going to be a coach. You're just like, okay, cool. I, I got a sponsor. I'm going to run. I'm going to do these running things. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do, do with my life yet, but they're handing, handing me sponsorship checks. So I'll take it. And then you're like, hmm, I might be able to help other people do this right with some, with some training and running and so forth. So now that eases you into coaching. Now you're getting paid a little bit from coaching on the running plus the sponsorships. That's how you're making a living. Okay. Am I, do I got it right so far? You're right on. Okay. You don't know if you're going to be, you're not, you haven't said I'm going to be a high performance life coach yet, but you're easing into that, that, that you're, you're headed that direction, even though you don't know it. Right. Right. Okay, cool. All right. So now you're doing this, you're running, you're doing the sponsorship, you're doing a little bit of coaching. You're, you're starting to eat right, by the way, 20, what'd you say? 25 years as vegan or vegetarian? Vegan. I don't know how you do that, bro. I just don't know. How, I don't know how you do that, man. I, f- I mean, hey, kudos, right? I, I, don't, I just, don't, I just, I can't do it, man. I grew up, in, I grew up in Oklahoma, right? Like we eat steak every day, right? I yeah. mean, come on, it's beef like daily. Yeah, same with, uh, same with my household. Uh, I don't know how you do it, man. My oldest son is a vegetarian, was a vegan for a while, and now he, 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 he kind of edged into the vegetarian. He comes over, I'm just like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Anyway, but you start eating right now, you're getting in really good shape. Okay, cool. Go ahead. Now, what happens next? Yeah. So again, when you're out there training, you're running. So I started helping um, these amazing individuals, started building my business, figuring out how to run my own business. So I'm like realizing I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a professional athlete. How did all this just happen? And this wasn't any part of my plan. So then now I started putting together a plan. And so I actually hired a life coach, um, and I actually was looking more of how to grow the mindset. I've hired a breathing coach. Um, at this time, I had around five coaches. I had personal trainers. Um, you, had you're, making, you're, you're, you're making enough money to pay all these guys at that point? Well, a lot of them were included into sponsorships, too. So, like, my, okay. my team that were, you know, acupuncturists, personal trainers, they were included into a sponsorship. So my sponsorship uh, took see. care of that. But the okay. personal coach was, was my choice because I wanted to learn more about the mindset. Okay. Um, when you're out there running, again, you know, I, over seven and a half years, I ran 39 ultras and, you know, you're running, I was running in Thailand, South America, all over the world. And you, you experience so much when you're out there through perseverance. So I was basically creating a path for um, high performance because I was a high performer there. I would, I would be running anywhere from 175 to 210 miles a week. So that's approximately between, I don't know, 37 to 42 hours a week of just running. And that, that's a pretty big commitment. And I had to really focus on being a high performer because you had to get enough sleep. You had to eat right. You had to, you know, make sure that you went and you fit everything into your schedule. 
So when I started creating this, I started studying like Tony Robbins, Brendan Bouchard, and I was just like, one day it just clicked. I said, you know, I'm working with these amazing individuals as, as they're helping them with movement. And I've gone through all this mindset stuff. How can I help individuals? So I created this business around high performance. I see. Um, it's high performance, you know, coaching, high performance life coaching. And so I completely made that shift from helping individuals with like running with them and with, with movements to focusing on the mindset, energy, um, meditation, and, and all the things that I had learned uh, have really created that path for me to step in and, and speak from experience. Mm -hmm. And that's why I started talking today around my childhood because I've done so much work that mm -hmm. all I'm, I'm grateful for all that that happens. And I've done a lot of inner self work where I no longer, you know, all the way up to about three years ago, I was still empty inside. I wow. still didn't have, I still didn't have any direction. Wow. So when I started doing all this deeper work, it was more, I had to go through that for a reason. And so I love sharing that um, with, mm. with people because I think we're all in our own journeys. We are going through something, some way, somehow. And through my story, I like to share like anything's possible. Like I used to hate running in high school and I ended up being becoming a professional runner, running hundred mile distances. And then, you know, I never, I was told I was going to work at a Honda factory now I'm running a you know a very successful coaching business. I'm a motivational speaker, speak around the world, um, writing a book which is going to be done in June. Oh, and cool! Yeah. Right. So I mean, the the message behind all this is like anything's possible. And when when somebody tells you something, they're basically see they're telling you something from their own eyes, like their own energy. And I think I all the way up to three years ago, I took that very personal. And I was very hard on myself and I, and it really changed everything when I start realizing and just creating self-acceptance. The Rider Flex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.